Hey, what is up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? This is your boy, Big Daddy Slash, coming back at you with a brand new video. And today, guys, I got a lot of stuff I want to talk about in this video. So we're just going to get right into it right now. What's up, guys? So today, I'm just going to take you guys along with me. going to do a little bit of a vlog. Um, I have to go to the DMV, which is never going to be fun. Uh, that's where we're going to go now. And then if I have enough time, there's another little small spot I want to show you guys today uh, if we get around to it. I don't want to say what it is until I see if I have enough time to do it. Uh, so, yeah. So we're just going to get the day started. It's a little bit early. Um, trying to get motivated uh, for the DMV. Unfortunately, I won't be able to film there, but I will be able to film up to it. So, show you a little bit of the small town um it's up in shepherdsville which is probably about 10 miles from where i am uh and it's a smaller town a little small square a little small courthouse all that good stuff it's not as bad as going to the dmv here in the city uh so yeah let's just get right into it guys See this little concrete building here? That's the original gel from this town. They actually left it there. Um, can't really get inside it or anything, but thought it'd be pretty cool to show you guys. All right, guys. So I just now got out of the DMV about an hour later because I had a, I have two cars. One I'm getting rid of. I actually just junked the damn thing. So I come to junk the idle, and apparently when I paid the car off, they didn't take the liens off. So now I had to contact the lien company, and I'm gonna have to make a whole nother trip, and it's just a pain in the butt. That's why I hate dealing with any of this paperwork stuff. It's such a pain. So, and it looked like all of us July people waited till the last day to come in and do it together. So <laughs> that was nice as always. So glad to be done with that at least. So that's taken care of just got off the phone with the people from the lean company so those are all going to be taken off and now they i have to wait for the paperwork for that and then i have to make another trip back to junk the car again so so now i'm going to try to head to another place here um just getting everything trying to get everything done today so tomorrow i can just do the normal stuff here's a few videos that i want to cut tonight and get uh squared away that way have a, some more content for you guys as well so um i got lucky it, i just now walked out and they close at four o'clock and it is now 357 so and i got there at two something so it, i'd been in there a while <laughs> so uh yeah let's get back on the road guys and uh, we'll finish up the vlog here in a minute all right guys so and that's kind of loud because i'm driving uh, it started to rain, so there was a couple places that I wanted to show you guys. Um, but being that it's raining, I'm not going to be able to do it. Um, I always love coming over this bridge. I wish you guys could see it. Uh, so we're going to go down here and grab some lunch. Um, just a little, it's actually a truck stop. <laughs> and we're just going to get it to go. But they got something unusual there that a lot of people have probably never seen before. Uh, and that's deep fried corn. So I'm going to grab some of that, which is absolutely amazing, uh, and show you guys that. And then um, there is some local haunted things uh, here in town, uh, kind of like the local con uh, Kentucky history stuff. Uh, I did not realize that there was one so close to my house. It's called uh, Hot Rod Hill, 
and there's a graveyard at the very top of it that is actually haunted. And they say at night you can see the apparition of a female who was, uh, her and her boyfriend was killed there uh, in a car wreck in the uh, 1950s. So uh, we're gonna, we're definitely gonna go up there and take a look at that in one of the videos. Um, maybe even, you know, I definitely want to do it during the day, but then I probably am gonna do an over, you know, go up there and do a night uh, with some, take our uh, flare camera and our uh, thermal camera and see if we can catch anything. I think that would be kind of cool. I'll make a video of that. Um, so, there's a few different places that me and Skills want to do uh, some different uh, uh, haunted places. Like, there's a, supposedly a road that's haunted here as well. Uh, certain stretches of it, so we might go check that out. And, of course, there's the... Uh, the Goatman Bridge that is haunted as well. So there's a few different places that we'd like to go, just finding the time to do it. Um, I think there will be some fun vlogs. So uh, let me uh, get over here to where we're going and then I'll show you guys this uh, fried corn and stuff. I think it's, you guys are gonna find it really neat. It's, it's pretty cool looking. The first time I ever had it, I ever seen it on the menu, I was like, I've never heard of that, anything like that. And I'm, I'm a, you know, a Kentucky Fried guy, so if it's got batter on it, I like it. And that was the very first time I've ever heard of that, so, um, and it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing, so we're going to get over there, and we'll be right back. So I just went in and got it, as you can see in the video. And here is what it looks like. Look at that. It's the same batter that they use on their chicken, but they put it on their corn and deep fry. So let's jump into it. So all kidding aside, that is absolutely amazing. It's got a little bit of spice, like a, just a little bit of kick in that in that um, uh, batter going on. The corn is real sweet. It's the real sweet corn on the cob, as you can see there. Um, you dried it out a little bit inside. These might have set for a few minutes, but that is really, really, really good. Very good. So also got some chicken gizzards which is a big thing here in kentucky a lot of people freak out when you say chicken gizzards so um let me show you guys that as well while we're sitting here and that is what we call a chicken gizzard and again it's the same breading that was on the corn so uh you gotta fight chicken gizzards guys like they've got a hell of a bite to them so <clears throat> Oh yeah, those are good as well. Now, not a lot of places don't sell these around, so I don't ever get up here very often. So when I do, I try to grab some of these. Very, very good. You gotta never try to chicken gizzard. You're messing out for sure. All right, guys. So we're gonna get back on the road. I just wanted to share this with you. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. As always, if you're new to my channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you do, make sure to ring the notification bell. That way you know every single time I upload a new video. And if you're looking for any of my other social media links, they'll be in the description down below. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. I do this for my father, who I've only seen from time to time in my dreams. I do this for you. I do this for my mother, who's finally clean and no longer a fan. I do this for you. I do